This is one of my absolute favorite things I've learned to do since moving to Asia. And I'm gonna to explain to you exactly how it works. So if you are interested in dog training, this video will be very, very helpful for you. So a lot of the time when we're dog training, we instantly think of treats. However, I don't use treats to teach this because the reinforcers come from other areas. So one of the areas is the dog gets conditioned that when they're on the bike, they're going to go and do something fun or they're gonna go do something cool. They are able to actually come along with me. Rather than being left behind, the reinforcer is they simply get to hang out with me. And I do not think that gets spoken about enough in dog training is making yourself the highest possible value. Some dogs absolutely just love being on a bike. They love the wind through the hair or fur, whatever one you want to call it. One of the very first steps I take when teaching the dog how to ride the bike is simply getting them up on the bike. Up. Good boy. So when they're on the bike, the next step I teach them is not to get off up until I'm, say, off. So the main reason I do that is it's so important that the dog learns not to jump off the bike up until I say it's okay. If the dog gets in the habit of being able to jump off the second you stop, or when you're moving, or if they see a cat or something like that, cause major, major issues, one for you, and also for the dog. With the dog and the bike, I do not ask them to actually um, stay in any specific position. I do not ask them to sit, I do not ask them to down, I do not ask them to stay. <laughs> and the reason for this is I need the dog to be fully comfortable on the bike. So when it wiggles, they don't instantly jump off. Good boy, Oreo, off. So by putting in the dog forced into a position such as sit or down, it, it forces them to almost be uncomfortable even when they're not. And when we're steering the bike and moving around the bike, I do need the dog to be able to adapt and adjust to when it's needed. When the dog is on the bike, they normally sit in between my legs. And typically when they're learning, it's, they can get a little bit wiggly. Sometimes they can walk forwards. They can step on your toes and that's obviously not good either. Most of the time they don't try and jump off, but certain dogs will get distracted or do that. So it's quite important when I hold the lead, sort of wrap it round like this, and I keep it loose just until I need, if they step forward, it instantly goes tight. As well as I can then squeeze my legs together in a worst case scenario, like an emergency, and I can physically stop them. But the lead is loose. Um, so the second they step forward, because they're way more likely to go forward than they are back, that is when I can either pop the lead or I can just keep it tight. And that is communicating to the dog, as well as using a no marker to let them know, let them know that they're doing something wrong. So that, that sort of summarizes how I use a bike and how I teach dogs to use a bike. Um, I do often ride the bike with at least one or two dogs on a daily basis. Um, treats are not a good option because I once had a dog actually jump into my lap to try and get the treats and while you're driving that's not good. Dogs do need to have a certain level of confidence and a certain level of trust with you when you're doing this for the first time but the more you do it the easier it sort of gets for them and it just becomes another part of their daily routine. The idea behind this video was showing you guys different ways you can use your dog training um, and you can sort of all apply it and the fact that reinforcers can be anything your dog finds rewarding. Good boy, buddy. And the fact that the basics allow you to do things like teach your dog how to ride a motorbike. It's all just the, much more the basics and the foundations that allow you to do that sort of stuff. So we are trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Um, the more views we get and the more subscribers we get, the more dogs I'm gonna be able to help out in Cambodia. Um, and I've got some big things planned. So if you want to support the channel and you want, want to support dogs, um, I'd appreciate your support. Thank you very much.